We're in Money in the Bank season, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Who is going to win the briefcase to get a guaranteed contract at a world championship? Today's video is going to focus on the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Who will be participating this year? Well, judging off last year, there were six competitors in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. So I'm going to do the same on this video. I'm going to have three competitors from Raw and three competitors from SmackDown. We do know as well there will be qualifying matches but at the time of recording i know absolutely none of that this has been recorded before wwe clash in the castle scotland so can I have a lot of fun here see if you agree with me in the comments below at the end of this video i'm going to start with the raw side my first selection will be none other than lyra valkyria someone has already thrown her name in the hat for money in the bank this year she was a finalist in queen of the ring and i think WWE still have big plans for her this year it's another great opportunity to get put her in a high profile situation for her to showcase her abilities lyra i think there was a lot of promise with her in wwe and i think that when I think inevitably Becky Lynch does return. That tandem will be there, and I think they can work together in the company, which will help push Lyra even further forward, perhaps maybe towards Championship Gold as well. Uh, but in the meantime, I have her as being a part of this match, and I think she could be quite a favourite, actually, for the women's money in the bank. But would she be more of a favourite than EO Sky, last year's winner of Money in the Bank, and a real showcase of what Money in the Bank can do for someone's career? Because EO Sky cashed in successfully that contract at SummerSlam and she held that championship all the way until WrestleMania 40. Eo Sky has probably had less to do since being traded to Monday Night Raw in the last few weeks. You can see she's getting a few anchor issues at the time at the moment so being put in a ladder match probably is not the most safest environment for the other competitors. However, I think it could be a fun way to go. Uh, Eo is one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. She's very experienced when it comes to this kind of thing. Uh, like I said, she's had previous experience of winning ladder matches as well in nxt she's done it before uh, and i think that um just to have someone that's will be seen as a favorite perhaps name stakes in the match makes a lot of sense for me so eo sky will be my second pick Last from the Raw side and a bit of a wild card choice, going to go for Kiana James. One, her gimmick, she knows all about the numbers, so no stranger to when it comes to money. But number two, unlike Lara Valkyria, she's not really had the chance to showcase her abilities as of yet. Money in the Bank is a well high profile match uh, that really can showcase superstars' abilities, even if they're not seen as favourites going into the match. Kiana James was booked like that quite a bit in NXT and that led to a number of times her game her success uh, particularly when I look back to the original NXT deadline match obviously the Iron Survivor challenge uh, she was actually a part of that and got to showcase her abilities and came out with more stock on the other side so I think this could be a similar proving round for Kiana James being put in the money in the bank ladder match would she win it no but she wouldn't need to either she could benefit and gain a lot more just by being in the match moving over to the smackdown side and yes i think it's everybody's favorite will probably be mine as well tiffany stratton to be in money in the bank tiffany is destined for great things in wwe uh, she's already showcased herself quite strongly in the first few months that she's been part on the main roster since the call up from nxt of course debuting at the royal rumble time tiffy time in the bank or tiffy in the bank however they want to portray it i think could be a annoying but also a very useful catch face for wwe and well tiffany has said herself in interviews including chris van vliet about having a custom briefcase you can imagine the barbie style pink briefcase with all the glitz and glamour the studs whatever they want to do with this briefcase a custom made one means money for wwe shop and when money is involved for money in the bank i can see wwe going with this so i don't see tiffany just being someone in the match I see her being a heavy favourite as to winning Money in the Bank this year. Money in the Bank is also going to be in Toronto, Canada this year, I should mention. So we need to have someone Canadian in the match. How about Chelsea Green? Someone who I think also would be amazing with money in the bank. There is a possibility that Piper Niven could get the spot as I don't think she's going to beat Bailey for the Women's Championship. Would keep her strong and also I think she would be unique in this kind of match. But for me, Chelsea Green I think ticks a lot of the boxes because just to say, Chelsea Green, the character, 
works so well with money in the bank money in the bank is usually best utilized when it's with a heel someone with a great character and someone like chelsea green who would try to cash in every opportunity you could see she'd be one of those that would try cash in about 50 times hold the contract the entire calendar year cash in at the last second and then lose i could see that happening with chelsea green and the best part about it is it would be absolutely perfect so uh look i think chelsea should be in money in the bank this year she's got experience of being in ladder matches in the past as well uh personally my favorite one is actually be going back to impact wrestling or tna now uh, when she when she was in queen of the mountain which actually featured Meechin as well uh, a couple of years ago so yeah for me i think she would be good for this match uh, my last name then for money in the bank will be naomi i think that um obviously she's come back she's feeling the glow she's got great experience with money in the bank with previous years being involved in it and uh, she's got great style high flying ability i think she'd be a natural fit and personally i think she would have an outside chance of winning it as well because to this point not really much of note going on with naomi and i think if she was to win this uh, a lot of people would be talking about naomi and what she would do with the briefcase not to mention as well wwe could do a glow briefcase again it's all about the merchandise so for me uh, i wouldn't rule this one out so that's my six that i predicted to be in money in the bank for the women this year some names i've not mentioned i'm just going to explain quickly why bianca belair and jade cargill both are women's tag team champions and i think they will remain tag team champions at the time of recording going into money in the bank so i think they'll be focused more on the tag team division which is pretty much the rest of the raw division is the tag team division so that's why i've not mentioned some of those names queen Nyatt does not need to be in money in the bank this year she's got a championship match set for SummerSlam as well so i don't expect her to be involved either uh, but that's all from me on this video if you've enjoyed this then make sure to check out the men's edition of this as well uh, make sure to the like button as well share with a friend subscribe as well and why not drop in the comments below who you think will be in the women's money in the bank ladder match this year thanks for watching take care enjoy the rest of your day and uh, well check out these videos on the side of your screen right now i'll see you for the next video.